things in the middle of the side. Today we're talking about lunch and dinner and breakfast and what you're supposed to eat to stay healthy to be good, go back to the garden of Eden, you know? Genesis 1.29, vegetation shall be for your meat. That's what the master told us in the beginning. And that's the way we're supposed to eat in order for us to stay healthy. So everybody's talk about breakfast, lunch and dinner. You know how breakfast? You know, lunch and dinner, you're supposed to eat once per day. One time per day you're supposed to eat in order for you to keep your organs healthy. So I'm telling you now, I'm showing you now, how you should do it when you want to keep your heart, kidney, lungs, liver, all them organs here well. And if you want to have fast, trying the time making them food move from the stomach to your intestinal tract at the exact time. That's the key in staying healthy. Not having food lingering. See? So we're going to teach you now, right? Now, fruits, they're known in Grenada as sugar apple, we call them over here. And then we have skin up here. This have a lot of vitamin C. This have a lot of calcium and magnesium, which is important for the heart. So this is my uh, lunch. You know what I mean? From 11 o'clock in the morning, and I will eat that till 12 o'clock. And this takes at least half an hour. To move from here to here. And I want to mention something about these fruits. Fruits are cooling foods and should be eaten when the temperature is hot. But fruits should only be 20% of your diet because fruits help you to eliminate. And if you are eliminating too much of your vitamins and minerals because of too much fruit intake, you are going to become malabsorbed. Alright? So fruits should be 20% of your diet. Proteins should be 20% of your diet. Don't forget that. These here now, this is my lunch now. See, I'm going to eat my lunch. This is my pumpkin. This is callaloo. I love, I love onion like crazy. I love to, I used to love onions. And I, I love garlic, you know what I'm saying? But garlic, garlic is the king, trust me. You know? I don't care what I say about garlic. Garlic is a masterpiece that runs anything away. Garlic. Then you have some green peppers, lettuce, and all the other greens in here. And the, the beautiful thing about eating right is because once you eat foods that will move quick, your organs don't become lazy and bloated like these organs here. Once you blow them up with all these foods. So for me now, look at what I'm eating for my lunch. So these foods here are 80% water, 80% water. So they move quick, plus they have lots of minerals and vitamins. So they feed my tissues, my cell, my glands, and my organs. So I don't get sick that fast. Even though I get sick, it don't last long on me, because these are the foods we're supposed to eat to help us to move waste quick. Now, you will have... You having a meal today of, let me see, the average Grenadian will eat now, this time of the day, and they have rice and peas, yam, tanya, plantain, gravy, stew chicken or stew fish, with all these other stuff in there, and if not even 5% of these foods here, that's acid. So then when they go to bed at night, they have all their foods sitting in the intestines and in the stomach and having them causing havoc to the organ system, causing havoc to the kidneys and to the glands and to the nerves and to the eyes and to the heart. So long term, eating that way for 40 years, you're going to get sick. But when you eat the way we were taught to eat by the most high, green leafy things, mix them right. Then you can never have stagnation over here. So, my first thing is to drink a bottle of coconut water. This plastic is from, is from plant source. One bottle of coconut water, and then a bottle of distilled water. Flush it up first. And then, we might use a teaspoon of whale oil mixed with honey. You know what I mean? It's very important. Alright? And then, 
stomach and intestinal tract formula and what I do I will take a little cap of it and I will do that in my food right over the food right over there see so when I eat my foods my digestive system will work better because all these herbs in this stomach and intestinal formula is bitters and sours so they increase digestion they increase digestive juices so then my stomach works well so when I eat this way for my lunch you understand my food moves from here your stomach to here the exact time eating this way so I don't have to go to bed in the night hearing my stomach rumbling or can't sleep because there's too much food in my stomach so what happens to my organs my organs breathe better they live the, they, 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 they make they make me feel better because they're not overloaded with food they're not overloaded with garbage every day and if you do this here just for a month you will see if you want to lose weight you will see you will you will lose six pounds per week and you will keep the weight off your weight will never go further because why you are eating everything water we don't have no dessert you know dessert is Dessert means dessert what you ate before. That's what dessert is. Never put dessert in your stomach after you eat a meal. Desserts mean you're going to dessert what you just ate. And what will happen to you when you dessert it is going to kill you long term. See? So always have your coconut water around all the time. And in that way, when you drink before you eat, not while you're eating, but before you eat, when you eat now, you wouldn't get that full because water is there and don't forget to always put your bitters in your foods so that it will help digestion so this diet here will keep my pancreatic secretion in a, P, in a pH of 8.0 8.3 and I will never ever get diabetes eaten this way I will never ever get pancreatic cancer eaten this way because these foods are, have live enzymes that feeds the exocrine part of my pancreas to keep it producing enzymes enough for me to break down all my foods. But when you eat your stew chicken with all your starches, you create a havoc or an environment for diabetes and pancreatic cancer. But when you eat this way, that God told us to eat, these foods will move so quick and keep all these organs here energetic so you don't have troubles in your eyes and you don't have troubles in your heart and you don't have troubles with weight gain and you don't have troubles with lupus and you don't have troubles with cancer because cancer will never ever live in a system which bloodstream is clean and proper and free from acid cancer can never live there and at the rate we are going in this world today the way we eat is contributing to us coming down with all these diseases. This is the way you're supposed to have your meals for your lunch. No dinner. Don't eat no dinner. Any dinner should be soups, liquid foods, not protein foods, liquid food. And that way, when you go to bed, your organs will start to regenerate. Your liver, your pancreas, your kidneys, your heart, your blood will stay well because you're not loading them up with all the junk food you eat every day and that is the wrong way you were taught now we teach you now eat once per day once per day but eat the right way and then you will see how happy your organs gonna feel and you will feel healthy and you will live a long productive life because a productive a healthy nation is a productive nation a sick nation can never ever be a productive nation. All the cures are found right here in nature. So give Jehovah God the glory every single day. Because he taught us how to eat. You go to church every, every Sunday. You go into your Bible. You read how God you to eat. But you don't eat that way. And when you get sick, you run into your same Bible. And God tell you what herbs to use. But you run to the doctor to get his chemicals. So who you believe in? You believe in the, in the most high or you believe in the man? This is where you have to go to learn to eat the food right and keep you well. 
That's the key in keeping the organs well and preventing diseases. Give, have a nice day and give Jehovah God all the glory because he put all the cures that are found right here in nature. Give him the glory. Don't forget that.